Hey guys, welcome back to Energy Trips. That's my show, which I guess today is apparently a tutorial video. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I made uh, this, which is a custom texture for the exit portal in the end, um, which I don't see many people do. It's relatively simple, you just kinda have to do it, and you kinda have to wrap your head around it. And, and this video will wrap... You what? <laughs> this video will wrap your head around the idea, or the idea around your head for you, whatever, whatever way that metaphor works. This is done by CDM, so you're gonna need Optifine for this. Uh, you can see um, if, if you remove the portal, the bedrock under here is still regular bedrock. You can even customize that if you want. The first thing to do is to add a block state for bedrock, so uh, you remove that it's randomized. Like bedrock currently is randomly uh, rotated, which is fine. Like it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. Nobody cares about that. You're gonna have to remove this feature. Uh, if you want a custom end portal. Either make your way to the default assets and find the block states folder. Uh, there's plenty of block states to draw from. Just find one that doesn't have rotation, like, uh, I don't know, LOL, fucking air. Of course, air doesn't have rotation. Okay, so you open it with Notepad++. You probably have this, because this is not like a, a tutorial for dummies or anything. You kind of have to know what you're doing a little bit, right? Then we're gonna just gonna change this so it uses the bedrock model, and then I can just save this. Uh, save uh, as, there you go. Save it as bedrock, done. See, simple as, easy as, easy as pie, easy as cake. Or you can always just download my texture pack, which I'm gonna be linking below, and I'm gonna be using as my own example. I use my pack as an example all the time. Basically, whenever I have to add a feature, I never just do it from scratch. I just look at my an old version of the feature that I've used, like for CDM, for example, my glass is a great example, which is just a default glass, but it's slightly transparent, because I wanted the glass to be transparent. See, it's transparent, and that's the difference in the texture. Uh, but anyways, this, this, this folder of glass will give you a full uh, CDM map. Uh, that you can use to reference. You can also just go in my pack to my CDMs folder and just go to uh, the bedrock folder, uh, which has an end folder, which has a tops and a sides folders. Both of these you're gonna need. As you can see, these have a few textures, only a few of them, so it's not even that complicated. Uh, sides, again, only a few. And then if we look at the uh, properties files, this is what you'll see. And uh, again, recommend you just download the pack so you can open my properties file instead of having to make your own, right? It's a bit easier. And basically what this properties file does, it matches the blocks at bedrock, so it looks for bedrock. The method is CDM, full CDM maps you a full control over uh, each each individual texture. Biomes, uh, just the end, because I don't really care, all bedrock in the end, sure, do it for me. I, I like it. Faces top, and then this one has faces signs, right? It's relevant for me, you don't necessarily have to do that, but it gives you more control of what you're doing. And I went for a pillar look, so I, I did go with sides and the top separately, separate uh, property files. You can also do one property file, basically. You just have to wrap your head around how to work, right? And then the tiles it's looking for, it has to use the 46 tiles in total. Uh, it has a predetermined way, uh, which it knows how to interpret each tile. Tile zero is in the top left and tile 46 in the, in the bottom right of the image, right? Whatever. So this bit of glass, uh, tile zero in the CDM is basically just a separate pillar, right? A separate block of glass. Uh, this is the left side. The glass is perfect for this because if, if the glass is open, it means that there's a block on the left or the right. Uh, same for, uh, tile where it's 24 here it's open so it means that it's the middle part of the pillar it's it's uh, this part you know and it's closed on the sides which means that, it's, that there's no blocks there tiles one two and three can be interpreted as uh, these three blocks you know i mean not necessarily these just three blocks placed next to each other right and that's actually those textures as well go to my bedrock cdm tiles uh, one two and three are, are actually the tiles. I've made this little map, this little texture map. I recommend that you do this too. It's just like a little 64 by 64 canvas. I mean, depending on your resolution, I guess. These are just tile one, uh, two, and three, these ones, right? And these are tile uh, 12, 24, and 36, I believe. And that's just to give you a you know better idea of what you're doing. You can actually make the texture. And that's like the biggest part of this end portal design. Uh, it's not actually that hard, as you might uh, be finding out. Like, uh, it, it's just about doing it. And I wanna see some more cool shit, you know? I'm sick of this mid-tier shit. I want to see some more cool end portal designs because I'm the only one doing this and it's it's not, you know, I don't know, It's maybe it's complicated, but I'm, I'm inviting you to download my pack, use my properties files, you just fill in the rest, fill in the fucking textures and, and you're done basically, right? My design is pretty cool, uh, the design that I coined, I guess. Uh, it has dragons, look, oh, that's 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 her, that's my dragon, my inner dragon, Com coming in for a little, uh, little feature as well in the video. It has dragons holding up a gem, uh, a, a pinkish gem, which is supposed to have the pellet of the end crystal, uh, because it does actually have the pellet of the end crystal, because uh, it's supposed to teach you to put an end crystal there, right, to resummon the dragon, which I think worked great. It looks cool, you know, there's a fire effect, it's, it's dragons, you know, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, we don't need to get two dragons in here, actually, it's fine. And then the pillar uh, has the design of the vengeful heart of Ender. By the way, if you want this to work the way it works uh, in, in my pack, where the pillar is interpreted as starting from this block, even though there's bedrock underneath it, 
Like normally, with normal CDM, this pillar would only show up like this, but that's not how Bedrock spawns. Bedrock spawns like uh, this, right? It, it, it would want to go like this naturally if you don't uh, do something about it. The CDM wants to go like this. You have to stop it from doing that by adding this little line. It's uh, inner seems true, which makes uh, it makes it work like this and otherwise it works like this. All right, is that it? Are we done? Do you know how to make a portal now? Basically, right? I mean, I don't know what else to fucking show you. I mean, it's, it's it, like I said, it's not so complicated. You just have to do it. You have to get to it and make it, you know, uh, apply yourself, I guess. And show me what you make. I want to see some cool uh, portal designs. Uh, like I keep saying, please get my pack by the default. It has a bunch of shit. Check out my other videos. This was a tutorial video. Probably not like how other YouTubers do tutorials. Uh, probably really strange uh, format for a tutorial, but that's okay. Hope you learned something. Hope I inspired you a little bit. And like I said, show me your fucking packs, guys. I want to see some uh, some unique end portal designs. I, I mean, I know I know my deep my my I know my pack is the best pack out there, but you know I can't be the only fucking guy out here with a, with an end with custom end portal, right? Especially not after a video like this, because uh, I feel like if anything, I made it look really easy, right? The hardest part of all this is probably uh, interpreting the tiles. You know, you need 46 tiles in total. These are 46 uh, uh, characters, as well characters as well, I guess. You can use a skip like this, and you know, copy copy it like the way I've done. Uh, to skip a file and that just leaves it with normal bedrock that's why there's uh, still normal bedrock here under the portal yeah like you can see in the folder it only uses a couple uh, of, of uh, tiles it has a uh, 26 here or is that 36 you can't see it it's too small uh, and then here's 24 and here's 12 and then the rest is all skip and then the beginning has a zero to three like a little uh, a line like this and zero to three means that it'll use everything in between as well right so zero one, two, and three, right? But this is probably the hardest part, or like the hardest part, the most tedious parts, right? Not for you, you can just download my pack and you know exactly, you can copy the, this this literal fucking entire line and you know exactly which tiles uh, uh, to, to work with. But that's what makes CDM tedious, right? That's what I'm saying, the hardest part is probably just doing it. When I was writing this, all these skips, I'm literally sitting here like, okay, zero, that's uh, zero, okay, one, two, three, okay, one, two, three. And then the skips come in, so I'm just counting. I, I know that I need to, that I need to go to, to tile 12. So I'm like, okay, four, one, two, three, four, five, Five, six, seven, eight, right? And then I skip, 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 skip. You know what I mean? That's how I do it. So it's not hard. It's just annoying. And uh, now you can do it too. So let me know what you've made. I want to see some cool shit. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Tell your friends uh, or don't. And then you get to keep the secret technique to yourself uh, of how to make end exit portals. That's not what I did, but all right. Bye-bye.